This is atonement. I suppose you are fearful. It's time to see what happened after death. But first, some info is needed. Enter the name. So, obviously in Undertale, many children have died and uh, presumably maybe gone to hell. I don't know what their past is, but I guess this is um, a prediction. Do you accept the name Lynx? So it has been decided upon. Excellent. Before we go any further, is the name associated with a specific gender? A male, sure. He, him, I uh, guess. Absolutely perfect. Now, it's time to begin. So we did play an early, early demo of this quite some time ago. But now, this is the redacted version. Hmm, so you finally arrived. What a malicious little thing you've been up there. I'd consider my devils and demons to be angels compared to you. I'm impressed. However, that's not why I brought you in front of me. Because trust me, I've seen worse. I would like to examine your soul. Uh, sure. Hmm? What's that look on your face supposed to mean? It almost seems like you attempted to force yourself silent. Regardless, expose your soul. Hmm. This is peculiar. This soul is not yours, you lynx. You bargained for the soul of another human. And got it? I have never seen this before. Unfortunately for you, I have some bad news. The original owner of this soul is with us. Very interesting. You should not be here right now. Neither of you, Lynx. You should have been years ago. But because of Azrael, your soul managed to get away. And you, selling your soul to Lynx, just for a world of suffering to be brought back. The things that determination does to people. It's baffling now what to do with you. Maybe I can swap that king for you, put him in the fire. And maybe you could do blue ball exercises for a hundred. What do you think? Uh, I think that warrants a response. I don't think that it matters because I was going to what? Huh? Oh, and it, he's doing it. So yeah, there's me, and then there's the the character <laughs> who wants to fight. Really? You're really as impulsive as up there, Link. Listen, do you know who you're dealing with? Uh, you're dealing with the devil, me. Lucifer, my power is unmatched by any mortal or immortal being. The story of you and your soul dealer will end with a single slash from me. You got that? You know what? Forget what I said about swapping you and your horrendous king. I'm gonna let you run up. Let me just lay down some rules first. Do not attempt to kill anyone. No one here is alive. You will earn no XP or kills. Don't pick up any and equip any weapons. You cannot kill anyone, so weapons are useless. Do not attempt to kill me. Not only will you lose access to your save file forever, for all eternity, and deleted, the long-term results will be unfavorable. Save file. Because your DT is too weak, you can no longer go back. Your save file is unreachable. However, I will offer you a replacement. Your save file from now on is under my control. I will allow you to save and load as will. I will even allow you, not Lynx, to destroy your soul. Huh? <laughs> Who's who? However, I require that you save before leaving this room. I mean, you're already peering into the of this world. You might as well stick around for everything else. Uh, I wonder if that cell phone of yours still works. 
You wonder if that cell phone line still works? A distant flame through the large crack fills you with determination. And we will save over our previous save. A uh, cell phone? Yeah, uh, dialing Toriel, but nobody came. How about we call Papyrus? Nobody came. We have dimensional boxes too. Didn't work. So none of this works. Like, why does he wonder if my cell phone works? It doesn't work, dude. All right, well, it's time to actually explore hell. Uh, what do we got here? Something about this broken celestite makes it feel eerily important. You suddenly felt your hand move on its own. It picked up the stalactite. You got a red stalactite. Hello, Lynx. You may have control over my fate. You may have control over this body, but there is no way in hell that I will drive, that you will drive me of the ability to fight. We cannot fight without a weapon. So, uh, equip our weapon and allow us to continue what we started. Atonement Redacted Edition. Get your soul back. Ooh, I just got goosebumps. Oh, that's exciting. I love unique stories like this. We are in hell with uh, dealing with this soul. You see to open them. I don't want to equip the weapon. I want to try to pass this run, even though I think in the life before this we were doing a genocide run. If I can avoid it, I will. The presence of a huge foreboding fills you with determination. Hello there. Hey there, ungrateful sinner. If you're suffering with your mortal color blindness, you've come to the right gal. I place a white pulse icon on green bullets if you confuse the blue with the orange one. Will that work? Uh, okay then. I have a fantabulous eternity. I probably should have done that. It's okay. Uh, what do we need here? There's an engraved message on the giant stone door. This gate is locked against those who seek unlimited and corrupted power. In order to open this gate, three powerful beings must be brought forth. The first, a paranoid giant of a human. Second, a morning boss monster granting sinners protection from the king that declared genocide. Bring their souls here and the gate shall be open. You felt chill. So we we might have to kill in order to open this gate right here. The king that declared genocide. Who would do that? Are they talking about Asgore? Or somebody else? First region of hell. Purpose. To purify selfish souls through hard labor. I like the portal. <laughs> Sanders that end up here must push around heavy crates. Throughout Opus, I'll allow you to explore a section of Opus that's struggling, to put it lightly. Remember, no killing, no weapons, no killing me. Okay, hello, sir. Hmm? You're here to torture your soul by moving boxes around? Oh, wait, it's just Lynx. <laughs> Lucifer told me that you'd be coming over here at some point. Say, could you do me a favor? That druggie over there is supposed to be moving boxes near the hole over there, but he stopped years ago and he's been experiencing since I've stabbed him through, through I've stabbed through him a few times but nothing's ever going to get him going uh, can you try to help uh, sure thanks if it doesn't work out I understand what is this place dude oh hello struggling uh druggy hey hey kid want to help me with this boxing my really to get out of here uh you're creepy do it yourself i'll i can help him you're creepy i'm not yeah i need drugs you encounter druggy zek i wonder if we can even do the pacifist route uh talk you tried to talk to zek uh like hell i'll talk with you okay so we have to move through that one same kind of thing. Oh, I'm level 20, so we're definitely coming off of the genocide run. Feels like cannibals and BLs. But 
gave your condolences to Zach. Uh, thanks. Does he have to die? He... No matter what I do, literally. Can I get him to like 1 HP here? I do not think so. I have literally tried to stay alive as long as possible. Do I get him? Nope. Dude, I didn't mean to. Is that my soul? Zach's soul is floating. Oh! Air? So I had to do it the whole time. You're... You're sparing me? Even after all my violence? Even after I tried killing you? What happened to me, man? Why am I like this? No. No more of this, drugs. It cost me so much of my life. It cost me so much others of their lives. I have to stop for the future of my soul. Hey, kid. Don't worry about me. I'll be here cleaning up this dirty soul. All right, I'm going to finally do it. I'm going to continue what I started years ago. Pulling boxes with absolutely no strength. Time to start. We won. We got 150 DT, which is good. Uh, no EXP. I can't believe, can't believe I just had to almost kill him and then spare him. But that kind of proves that there is a pacifist route. So that's exciting. Let's go ahead and move on forward. Oh, the box is already done. Dude, he went fast. Hey, man. Hey, kid, look at what I did with absolutely no muscle at all. You know, when my soul came out of my body, I felt so cold. It felt like my problems inflated to a massive size, but now I feel way better. I wonder who you'll find up ahead. Uh, as somebody else to spare, I reckon. There goes those boxes. Glad I can help a soul of the holy, you look scary, <laughs> of the underground. Alright. It's a sealed crate, sealed in a way that makes it seem like it was never opened. You don't say. It doesn't appear to be sealed. Open it? What? What? You open the crate. Inside was a bunch of golden coins. There's also two prong pots called inside. It's shaped and somehow intact. You felt a familiar feeling. You got the bicycle. Alright. <laughs> that was interesting. Hey, dude. What's going on? <laughs> you approach. What do you want? Uh, what's in your hand? What? You want to see? Yes. Fine, you get nothing in hand. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. You leave me alone now. Uh, nothing then. Why you talk? Leave me alone. I'll just leave you alone then. Where's this thing? It's kind of a remote switch. Take it. Yeah, you got the red switch. Hello there. Can I get some space first? That's better. Now, uh, oh, whoa! Uh, are you like wanting to do it for me? Cause I can't. That wreck. <laughs> whoa! No wonder they're in hell. Hey, uh, wanna help me? I can reward you with a little gift. I know you're under <laughs> oh, No! <laughs> What's that mean look supposed to mean? Uh, no? Well. I'm totally not gonna be denied. Either way, you're gonna do things my way or you're dead. Uh, hot seal in your area. It's Priest E. Well, let's just figure out how to spare here. Okay, I think I have to do another hit. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. What? I thought I was irresistible. Okay, we can spare. Oh, okay. Hopefully, that's how it is every time. Make it simple. Uh, but I was so nasty to you. I was really so nasty to everyone actually, but It almost feels like I'll never improve not like I'll ever realize it anyway. Wait Aren't I doing that right now? My body has gone through so much prosthetics. I feel like I'm not myself anymore. Well today I'm going to stop living like this. I will show you and everyone else my true body Okay, this is me Oh my god, I already feel so much better. My body feels so light. I feel like crying right now. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, I really do feel much better. But like, I still have the work that I need to do. And I still need that blue switch thing, maybe. Huh? 
Okay. I'm glad I can help a few people out in hell, you know? What just happened? I was such an idiot. He had the blue switch in his other hand. Okay, now I think I have to go to work. That is when you're not in here. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. Huh, your approach. What do you want? Uh, I need that blue button. What's in your hand? Yes, fine. You get nothing in that hand. Uh, now what do you want? Other hand? Well, you are indeed a persistent one. For that, I shall give you what I was holding. You get the blue switch. Don't tell that woman about this. Thank you, sir. That's what helped me quite so much. So let's hit the blue switch. And then let's hit the red switch. And we solve the puzzle of hell. What do we got here? Thank you for playing what could have been. I don't have anything to elaborate to end this off, but here are some credits. What? What do you mean playing what could have been? What? Stay tuned for the new version. Huh? What's going on here? Is this the end? Is this... Hello? Oops, I wasn't completed. Oh, uh, what the hell are you doing outside your workstation center? Be gone! Lynx, is it? Ah, uh, so you're the little demon I've been hearing about. Traveling all over the place, bringing death with you. The uh, despicable little thing. But you aren't who I'm worried about. I have been assigned to that fat lord over there. He has done nothing but sit down and do nothing. And nothing I do. Anything to help the power to suction up the machine up there. It has been a trend for a while to get sinners to do nothing. <laughs> I can't wait for him to be sent to the gracious so I can get someone useful such as yourself. Uh, Devil Industries. The message inscribed from the giant machine. Crate suction gravitates crates from lava rivers and launches them for use in opus only. All right. Use the treadmill? Sure. Great power suction? Mm. But nothing else is happening. All right. So that is, I guess, the end of this game. I believe there is going to be another version. I said in this little uh, note there was going to be one. So far, really good. I enjoyed it fully. Hell looks really good. Plays really good. Music's really good. I have zero complaints so far about this. I mean, it's a very interesting story to see where it goes. One of the originals. We'll see if it's still in development. I don't really know at this point, but what we got so far, the redacted edition of the game. Pretty good. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching.